out. That is not a support for crime. It's not an interrogation. But what is really crime? It's something that can be defined over time. When you have a despotic leadership, a leadership that impoverishes the people, what becomes crime? That is the question. Interrogation. Remember, on State Affairs, the radio man interrogates every idea. That is why radio just got deeper here. Remember, don't allow Obaseki take custody of 1,130 stolen artifacts. Obav Benin urges federal government, rejects Edo government's proposed museum, says governor needs prayer. Or oh, oh, what's going on here? Is the Obav Benin angry with the governor? Top pastors absent, eminent Nigerians, traders, orders, bid TB Joshua farewell. On the front page of the punch, 2023, PDP may counter southern governors on zoning. True presidential ticket open. Trial of alleged kidnap kingpin Evans stored again. George Kicks was going on. On the front page of the Saturday Tribune, Fulani groups threaten southern governors, say ban open grazing. In September, lose 2023 presidency. Why we oppose call for Southern Presidency, Northern Elders Forum. You know, these are interesting times in Nigeria. Everyone is threatening. Everyone is speaking. Fulani speaks. Igbo says no. Yoruba say this is what we want. Interesting times. I tell you, these are beautiful times despite the pain. Just watch. Something is about to happen. Nigeria has unraveled. I hope you are studying the trend. Study it keenly. Read between the lines. Something is about to happen. Rejoice. Rejoice for everything good will come. The radio man is here. Are you there? What do you have to say about the state of affairs? 08056998678. You can call 070-694-93000. Make your voice loud. Say it. It's your country. It's your land. You are a stakeholder here. Let me hear your voice. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Edmond. Yes, Edmund. good morning. Uh, this is the voice of Roman Bassoli. All right. I'm calling from Ibano. It is part of the try to expand our self-assertion. Our major problem in this country is back system. The back system introduced to us by bad leadership and bad structure. Hello. I'm with you. Yeah, we are having the problem of bank system, and the bank system I'm talking about does not start from normal divided administration. It's only escalated more than before in this administration. What we need to do is, how can we solve the problem of bank system we have now? That is the problem we are facing now. Thank you. Good morning. God bless you. Thank you for calling the radio station. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Good morning, my brother. Good morning. <laughs> This is Dr. Wally Fashaki. Yes, Dr. Wally is here. How are you, my brother? Things are happy. Mm. And the Yoruba they say, the Yoruba team do be do be do be do to fair fire. You have said it all. Something is about to happen. Agitation here and there. Counter attacks here and there. Where are we heading to? That is the question. Where are we heading to? The South Carolina was the president in 2003, 2023. The other said he's not going to release it. Where are we heading to? That is the problem, but that is our question. Like you have rightly said, it will end somewhere. Not just in labor, just in co, in the Kalomajasi. But let's pray to God that we'll be alive to witness 
where the end of all this problem will, will, will be. That's my prayer. We should be alive to witness the end of all this impasse. Thank Hello. you very much. Thank you. Kola Deo Lajire Oluwa Timilehi is on State Affairs page on Facebook. Huh. It says Nigeria is a confused state. We glamorize the symptoms limiting our development instead of finding a lasting solution to the real disease. Hakim Yakin says when patriotism is lost in the leadership, the followers become violent and the state... And the state resources meant for people's welfare go to curbing violence. John Oguche Onyisi says, Wiki meant well. To fight crime and insurgency should not be romantic. Crime and insurgency should be taken headlong. What about if the state is the reason there is crime and insurgency? John Oguche Onyisi, tell me. <laughs> this is coming from Oyeko Gabriel. He says, we have so many conflicts in the country, yet Mr. President insists there is nothing to talk about. Did he say that? He says, go to the National Assembly if you want to talk. Oh, Goni must become great. That is coming from Abdul, Abdul Sogi. Oh, Goni must become great. What do you have to say? Have you left a message for the radio man? Have you seen an article that I saw? Did you read it? DJ Yesufu sent me the article. I read the article. Why is it about pain all the time? It's an article written by Matthew Shotola entitled How Agbowo Became a Den of Thieves. How Agbowo became a den of thieves. Agbowo, a den of thieves? Remember, three weeks ago, I talked about this area on the show. In the article, Matthew says, How these evil men could enter a gated house and spend several hours doing mischief with no restraint from anyone remains a wonder to me. A wonder to him. Matthew Shotola is on state affairs. Hello. Hello, good morning, Mr. Hedmon. Is that bad that you had to write an article? Yes, it is very bad, sir. And I, I just felt someone needed to do something about the situation there. So I just felt I should do that. I should write something. Since uh, I am not in the position to go there with my guns or my uh, whatever, but at least since I have the ability to write, I should write and do something. Perhaps the people in authority would hear us and come to our rescue. So your pen is your gun? Yes, sir. What about if I give you the AK cut for the seven gun? Will you be happier? Uh, no, I won't be. I won't be happier because I'm not used to AK, using AK forty seven. I prefer using my pen. You are a student of the University of Ibadan. Yes, I am, sir. You stay in Agbo now? No, I don't stay in Agbo. I actually stay at Botija. But the fact that I hear that students almost every day talk about. This was robbed, another one was robbed, this happened and that happened. I just get sick of it, so that's why I needed to write. They tell you sad stories. Almost every day. They come into the house. Almost every day. Take their time. Yes, sir. Rob with ease. Yes, sir. And students are scared. Yes, they are very scared. They can't fight back. No, they can't. Sorry. In fact, one of the students I interviewed, she, she, she said, she actually told me that... They are scared of living in Nagbo because one of the reasons the student that actually uh, was staying in the gated house, she said she was afraid of staying in, in, in an open place because if she's not staying in a gated house, there might be high probability that they will rob them easily. So she felt, okay, a gated house will be secure. Mm. And, see, and, and so she, she looked for one. And she felt, but this same house was actually robbed twice. They came to that house twice and they robbed, did all they could do without any restraint from anyone. So it's just so bad. 
He said, virtually all students living in Agbo have something ill to say about the security of the place. Temi, a 200-level student of the University of Ibadan, living in the Morayo area of Agbo, shared her encounter with me. What was her face like when she was telling you the story? She was she was really sad. She was really sad. It was it wasn't a nice it wasn't a nice scene, because uh, she's afraid actually afraid of being raped. That's that's a greatest fear because they entered their rooms. They actually entered the rooms. So she's she's afraid. She's just scared that what if they come the third time and they meet her alone in the room? Anything could happen. Her roommate has left her. Yes, I remember had left her. Why? Because she's scared to stay in such a house where there will be no safety, there will be no form of uh, assurance that their lives or their properties are secure. Agbo is a den of thieves. It is, sir. You have more students in Agbo now. Why? We have more students in Agbo now because the reason is due to the uh, COVID-19. Because the school management felt they should keep the students safe, and in order to do that, they just they felt not bringing them to school, they will not be accommodating any students in school, and so they asked all students to stay back at home. So students who couldn't study from home, they choose to stay in Agbowo, Orogun, Bodija, and UI and its environs. So most people, most people troop down to Agbowo actually. Do you live in Agbowo? Shotola writes about the pain of students. Not everyone in Agbo. Why? Because the students, the students are the targeted ones. They are the ones with the laptops. They are the ones with the phones. They are the ones with the uh, expensive, so to speak, uh, gadgets. Uh, that's why they choose to attack the students. Do you live in Agbo? Do you have a story to tell? Zero eight. Zero nine one five five one zero double five zero eight zero five six nine nine eight six seven eight zero seven zero six nine four nine three zero double zero. Hello, good morning. Sadu a mother way from you. I move here in you. I on the 10th of June, my laptop and asset was stolen in the office between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. How did that happen? No, I did not lock my door very well. So it's so, it's so terrible. You did not lock your door very well? Yes, yes. It was so put gently and the person must have trained it. Even on Thursday, or Wednesday before that, my door was uh, tempered where I didn't observe that, uh, that or did you did if it let happen. Who did you report to? No, I reported to authority, but... Uh, Nothing can be done because uh, these people, even some professors, they are not talking to be taking away a lot. That uh, because these people are going around, they're doing this even in university. Who are so these the people? Youth, the youth are so exposed to these uh, nefarious activities in the name of this, the country and this and that. Mm. But before I go, let me say something, two things. It is just uh, in, in, in the time of security, we are faced with the situation of what I call... Uh, the the, the, the the black gold and the red uh, are the red gold. And people who fight over here yeah? are those people who go into criminality, killing innocent to 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 to, to body in the name of uh, surviving. So the, the government should wake up to their responsibility. Thank you very much. These evil men were not only able to enter the compound, but we are also to enter the room. Matthew Shotola writes in their last visit to Timmy's house, they carted away two laptops, several phones, 5,000 naira, and they also damaged the house. Timmy told me specifically that students in Agbo live in fear. Since the second visit of these robbers, Timmy's roommate has left the house never to return. You will find that in the article written by Matthew Shotola, entitled, How Agbo Became a Den of Thieves. The article is published by text and publishing.com. You can speak to DJ Yusufu about that. He can publish you too. It is the pain of Agbo, criminals on the loose. Can they be students? I, I don't know. 
I actually spoke to a man, so he feels they are students, but I don't think they are students. I, I don't see the reason why st one student would choose to alter another student. I, I don't think they are students. And none of these criminals have been caught? As far as I know, none. As far as I know. They take their time. Yes, they, they do. They spend hours. Yes. In fact, they go from street to street almost every night. Where is the police? Who is the commissioner of police here? Madam Commissioner, did you hear this? I go on spotlight. Police, move in. Get the criminals. Take them to court. And let the judges pronounce them criminals. And send them to prison. Prison. The prison yard is full. The prison is full. It's full of the poor. But for the Mbaka says... Those who should be in prison are not in prison. Eji Kimbaka talks about those who ought to be in prison, yet are not in prison. If you talk, they will arrest you. They will invite you. You will be in trouble. Intimidation will not solve it. Because when you beat somebody, the person must cry. It doesn't take them anything if they love this land. That's why I'm saying that the real people that should be in the prison are the people who are busy arresting others and putting them in prison. State Affairs with Edmondo Bilo is live. These ones engage in desperate measures to survive. They wonder why they are the casualties of leadership failure in Nigeria. How can you provide job? There's nothing we want except that when you have job you do, you you have money to spend. Because there's no job outside there. We don't have job. Many of us went to school and school went to us. They are used by politicians for election purposes. Some of them are dumped when victory is won left to continue their street activities. Some are in prison. When, when the time of elections comes, the politicians will come over, they will come here, they will talk to these people, they will use them. After the election, they will not do anything for them. And now, you can see them stacking around here. What are they doing? Smoking in their heads. And the teacher normally come, came here when it's time of election. Mm. They will promise people that they will do this and that. They promise many ladies here that they will open their shop for them. They promise them that they will give them money to establish their business. But immediately they get, they get to the power, we don't see any traces of their promise. Governor himself knows that people are smoking all around. But they will only make use of them. That was when we were in need of them. After making use of them with all the promises and they won't fulfill. State Affairs with Edmondo Bilo is live. Many years ago I was telling them. Somebody came and said his motorcycle was stolen. And the Lord told me, tell them, a time is coming when not just motorcycle, men will be stolen. And if you bring money, it will be released. Kidnapping, many years ago. By that time, there was nothing like kidnapping in this uh, country. What is happening now? So all those who are busy preparing for 2023, thinking that it is a messianic time for them, political messianic time, for them to continue to launder, launder wealth and money that belongs to the poor, 
money that should be used to develop the city and the youth will be fully engaged in one business or the other, doing one job or the other because an idle hand is a devil's workshop. What are we expecting when 99% of our youth are jobless? What are we expecting? What things are going to happen? If anybody is telling you he's going to end today or tomorrow, that person is a liar. That person is not a man of God. Even if they arrest everybody, it will not end it. The solution is not in the arrest. The solution is in the job provision. Matthew Shutola, what do you think is the cause of armed robbery? I think the cause of armed robbery, especially at Agbo, is due to illiteracy. I'm talking about, I'm using Ag Agbo as a case study now. Mm. It's due to illiteracy because I believe if these guys are in school learning, there is a way learning in school transforms you. You don't go to school to learn to be a, 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 a person that causes trouble or causes harm all the time, so to speak. When you go to school, you learn to be, you learn to be, uh, to be wise, to be able to look for solutions in everything and not add to the, already, the problem we already have. But we have seen graduates involved in crime. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, uh, that is owing, that's also owing to the ideologies probably they have imbibed while they are in school. But you have a lot of young persons have no job to do. They need food. They are hungry. Yes, the, the fact that they need food and they are hungry does not mean they should resort to harming others. Mm. There are others too who are not, who, who don't have what to eat, but they would rather choose to die than to hurt another person. Because uh, at the end, because the person they are hurting is not going to die or as is else affected. Imagine a final year student who is currently writing his project and all the documents, all the files are on his laptop and they come one night and steal away that laptop. It causes a, 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 an emotional trauma. It causes a lot of things for the students. So that's just it. That's it. Who buys the laptops? They steal laptops. Certainly they sell the laptops. There's a lot of questions to be asked. But I'm happy that Matthew Shotola decided to write. Thank you for writing. You're welcome, sir. And you will keep writing. Of course, sir. The radio man will be ready to read you any time. Thank you very much, sir. You have spoken up for Abu. And the police must go in. It's a question of security. I hope you are enjoying education. Yeah, um, yes, yes, I am. I Do am. you dream big? Yes, yes. You'll be a game changer. I hope so, sir. Build a great future for the people. Yes, sir. That is why you are being educated. Yes, sir. Are you talking to your friends? I do sometimes. What are they dreaming about? Uh, some of my friends are dreaming to become great, and that's good. And they're not dreaming to become great in order to amass uh, wealth to themselves alone. Many of them are looking at solving problems that we are faced with as a society, as a nation, as a country. And that is why many of them are studying. I know many of them that are very energetic about seeing change, seeing things change for us in Nigeria. I hope Matthew Shotola and his friends have taken ownership of the future and they will make it great. Yes, sir. It's not negotiable. But the truth of the matter is that there will be hindrances on our ways, there will be obstacles on our ways, because there are people before us who have, who have the same mindset to see that there is a change, but on the way, they just, they just couldn't make it. If you are a star, make it happen. God willing, we will. Shine. By right? God's grace. Matthew Shutola, thank you for featuring on State Affairs. Thank you very much, sir. Matthew Shotola is the author of the article, How Agbo Became a Den of Thieves. How Agbo Became a Den of Thieves. I can take a call before I go. 
Do you live in Abu? Say something. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you, sir. This is Glorious from Yusuf of Ibadan. Hit the nail on the head. Yes, I, I live in Nabuwo. I have business in Nabuwo for more than 15 years. So I can understand uh, what is happening in Nabuwo. The only thing is that uh, some, uh, the guy just said it all. Uh, we have some people that wish to be like students that are not students. So when it got to a stage, the, um, the, uh, the, 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 their true color will now be opened. So I don't have much to say. But God will help us. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Glorious have spoken now, but back after this break, do not go away. I am Edmund Obilo. It is Splash 105.5 FM, the Integrity Station.